I mean, again, it's not, uh, it's not a very difficult problem. The main thing is making sure you guys are getting used to being able to type in scientific notation into your calculator. So, uh, for example, or for part A, or part one, so we're looking for the force due to gravity. That's going to again be GMM over R squared. The big G is 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11. Uh, the big mass, or the mass of planet X, is 5.97 times 10 to the 24th. The mass of our astronaut is 160 kilograms. And then the radius is 6,378,000 meters squared. That's um, a lot of numbers. I got 1,567.219. Yeah, you guys are going to get something different because I use the variable. Point two one nine. Yeah. Alright. So, 1,500... Newtons. What is it? Eyes. Much more accurate. It's it's close enough. We never. Know. All right. So now, um, so at the surface of planet X, this is how much the individual weighs. No. But that's on the surface. That's, that's on the the average surface. Okay. Because we don't go to planets and it's just a perfect sphere. Uh, where it's flat, no divots. Uh, we have yet to see that. Really? All right, so let's go ahead and look at what happens if this individual now goes on the tallest mountain of planet X. How much is their weight going to change? It's going to decrease. So you have FG, G and M over R squared, 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11, 5 points. 9, 7, times 10 to the 24, 160. And now we have 6, 3, 8. 6, 3, 7, 8. 7, 8. 7, 8? Oh, oh you're, adding, you're adding it? Right? Oh, okay. We can do that. So 8, 6 or something? Something like that. I don't know. I didn't add it. 8, 6. Eight five zero, and I got what? Square. So we had to add the eight thousand eight hundred and fifty meters. Yeah, it is. I got fifteen. Yeah, the the wording is bad, and I apologize. Yeah, yeah. So he, he increases distance by eight thousand meters. So the answer, I got 1,562.878. So Alex got 1,562.878. So only two decimal places in this class? Yeah. So does it change the overall weight of the person? Yes. Yeah. Yes, but... Barely. I thought you said it was I mean, he lost seven pounds. No, he lost five pounds. Get you? A weight wipe. Well, so it's not five That's pounds. That's what they need to do. Five so, uh, one newton is a quarter of a pound. Oh, he lost maybe. He lost one newton. So, how many, so how many pounds is it? Around one, one and a quarter. Pounds. One and a quarter. One around there. Pounds. So, can you guys convert this to pounds using this? Oh. Just divide by four? Divide by four. Yeah. <laughs> So he weighed 391 pounds initially. Dang, that's a... Big astronaut, guys. <laughs> it's like... 391 pounds initially. Those are some and real... And he cut... Those are some real small stuff. So then he climbs up the biggest mountain on planet X... And he loses one ...to pound. try to lose weight. And he weighs 390. That's a pretty giant step. Which is not enough nine. to make you change weight classes. He's been bulky, 
Now he's been both. Mitchell, what's up? Mitchell, what's up? This is Mount Everest. Have you been doing it? Is it? It's not Mount Everest. It's Earth. Awesome. Yeah, so we're on Earth. We climb Mount Everest. We go to the top of Mount Everest. We're like, yes, we're farther away from the center of the Earth. We're about to lose heck of weight. And then we step on the scale and it's a one pound difference. Hell yeah. Wow. All that work. Hey, they got some cardio though. Yeah, you got that good height. Yes. It, it would. You'd probably lose more weight if you were to actually physically climb it. Uh, but I'm saying, if this you guy just, probably just like took an elevator. Yeah, yeah, you went from the bottom all the way to the top. That's what the difference is going to be, about a pound. That's so do you ever want to do something crazy like that, Vargas, like climb a mountain? Maybe when I was like 80. 80? Maybe when you're yeah. 80? Yeah. You're going to want to do that? Yeah. Would I mean, you, I had enough time to do would stuff. Would you even be able to, um, like, probably not. be strong enough to do it like that? I need to get the books good, sir. Oh, man. Is that it for today? Yes. All right, so 